Baragatha Hawa, Baragatha Hawa Sha, Baragatha Hawa, Baragatha Hawa Sha, Baragatha Hawa, Baragatha Hawa Sha, Bahashem, Rakadash. I'd like to give a shout out and salute to brothers across the four corners of the earth trying to preach this truth and say they're elect. Hopefully, you and me is one of them. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. I believe those are the men sent during this time to wake us up. All right, so you see what, what it's showing on a, a picture, okay? You're starting to have these solar flares um, in different spots, okay? This is about another one that's heading toward the, towards the planet, okay? Now, I don't know if, um, you know, you Jake's know that when you have a lot of these solar flares, they uh, cause a lot of different volcanoes and things like that, okay? So, yeah, let's go and get into the report. Acts 2, verse 18, and on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And you're seeing a whole lot of that. Jake on fire out here, right? <clears throat> and I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke. Call her law, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And that's what this story is about, okay? Because th this is what you're seeing, all right? You're seeing this happen all over the place, okay? All right? Blackout causing solar flares can make their way to Earth, evidence shows, okay? A giant sunspot and filaments on the the solar surface have astronomers worried about possible Earth-directed solar flares and coronal mass ejection that could lead to blackouts, the New York Post, the New York Post has reported. Can you imagine blackouts in New York during this time period? Hey, and the way things are going, hey, the most high might have that happen, okay? As you can see, this planet is under judgment, man, and these blackouts and these um, sunspots, they lead to... Uh, more of uh, volcanism or more volcanic activity okay last month astronomers were keen to see the development of sunspot ar 3038 which went from big to enormous in a matter of hours and grew to a size that was three times that of the earth can you imagine a sunspot uh three times the size of the earth heading towards earth i mean come on man this is the most high he a he he start he's starting to uh show us you know, that he sees what's going on, okay? With the sun now in an active phase of its 11-year cycle, there's a lot of activity on the surface that is keeping astronomers glued to the skies. Yeah, there's a lot going on, okay? A lot going on, all right? Let's, lots to see on the sunspot right now. Sunspot AR3055, lower left is very active. Earth directed flare is possible and stretches more than a hundred thousand kilometers. A hundred thousand kilometers. I think Earth is what? About thirty thousand kilometers across. Okay. So now they're saying that um there's a possibility these can uh, start heading towards the earth. Okay? At a million miles an hour. Alright. Let's keep going. This is Psalms 119, verse 125. I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. You see that? Everybody want to get rid of the scriptures now? Okay. Everybody want to come against um the Hebrew Israelites? Okay. Everybody want to um do as thou will. All right. And you see what's going on, okay? We're in the last seconds now, okay? And this place is headed for destruction, all right? Let's keep going. All right, this sun, uh, sunspots and volcanic activity. Researchers discovered during high periods of vol high volcanic activity, how sunspot activity also re results in high levels of atmospheric dust, according to Dunarumo. It long has been known that volcanoes add, add more dust and more sulfates to the atmosphere. There is some type of link, okay? Remember that explosion that they had um, 
over near the Tonga Islands, okay? They said that the, that volcano underwater exploded with the force of a thousand Hiroshima's. You see that? Hiroshima bombs. Let's keep going. And see, hey, the most high uh, having so many things happen, so many signs are being shown that now, okay, you hear about these people running to these bunkers trying to escape. Hey, if the most high don't want them to make it, they ain't going to make it, okay? Running to New Zealand, that ain't going to help them, okay? If the most high want them to go into slavery, that's where they're going, okay? Because, you know, a lot of them run to New Zealand, too. That one of your water is one of the safe safest places on the planet you ain't safe no matter where you go you know the most high are gonna judge you he gonna judge you all right so yeah let's get into this super volcano horror warning world's most active volcano slowly rising from under lake lake top a serene water body located at the center of new zealand's north island actually sits within a prehistoric caldera or large volcanic crater this crater was formed at the Earth's most recent super eruption. The Aranau eruption rocked the region 25,400 years ago. Now, I, I don't listen to these people with these dates. You know, it's like they just, you know, I don't know where they be getting these dates from. But the volcano is active and it's a caldera, which is like a super volcano. Okay, over the past few decades, Scientists have been studying the lake and the regions around it only to reach the worrying conclusion that the volcano may still be active. The studies lead off the Dr. Finnegan Isley Kemp from the Victoria University of Wellington said Lake Top conceals one of the world's most active caldera volcanoes which last erupted 1800 years ago. There they go with them dates again. Movements of magma and tectonic faults beneath the surface frequently cause the ground surface above the volcano to uplift and subside. In 1979, we began a novel sur surveying technique which uses the lake surface to detect small changes with four surveys made every year since. In this paper, we summarized this 42 years of data show that within a lake near Hamatong Reefs, the volcano has caused 100 60 millimeters of uplift. I think they mean meters. That's about the length of a football field and a half. Whereas north of the lake, the Titanic faults have caused 140 millimeters of subsidence. So yeah, they're saying that this might erupt too, see? And, and hey, you're starting to see this volcanic activity all across the planet. Okay. So yeah, let's let's keep going. This shows that Torp is an active and dynamic volcano which is intimately connected with the surrounding tectonics. A caldera is formed when a supervolcano releases over a thousand cubic kilometers of magma and other material in a single eruption. Pretty much, I don't know if uh, any of you Jake seen that movie Pompeii, and all them people were buried. Okay, some of these people that run in these bunkers, that's gonna be their tomb. They're gonna be melted and cooked in them tombs. Okay, the rest of them, they're going to be dug, dug out, you know, and placed in chains. Most high willing, right? In such an event, the magma vents that have been now been hollowed out tend to cave in, causing the Earth's surface to sink. You see that? Permanently transform the landscape into a caldera or boiling pot in Spanish. See, some of them people, they're going to flee here. They're, they're trying to flee to New Zealand. Flee to these safe havens, okay? And they ass gonna get boiled, okay? No way out of this, uh, the most high's judgment that's getting ready to go down, okay? These people are gonna get their ass whipped. And now you have all these um, leaders quitting, resigning all across the planet, okay? Because it's time for new leadership, okay? You're seeing the house of David raise up, okay? Over the past 12 years, the top volcano has been active 25 times, with the authors of the new study describing the most recent eruption in 232 AD as one of the Earth's most explosive eruptions in historic times. You see that? 
and then they go on a yellow uh, stone. Now, now look at this. Predicted eruption ash cloud. Now remember, I just did a report showing that if, 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 if they hit America with a nuke and they hit Yellowstone, it's game over. Look at all this ash. Remember, this ash is radioactive. Even even with a normal eruption, a lot of ash that come out of these volcanoes is um, slightly radioactive because it's coming deep that from down in the earth. Okay. Yellowstone predicted eruption ash cloud. You see that? So if it's hit with a nuke, it's gonna cover the uh, it's gonna cover the uh entire United States with ash. You see that? And let alone the nuclear bomb itself. You see? Let's keep going. It's Jeremiah 10 verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. So yeah, when you see these blackouts coming, okay, which we know is, is happening, okay, these CMEs, okay, these volcanoes, okay, all hell breaking loose, okay, don't be dismayed by them, you know, because, hey, the Most High is going to protect his own, right? He's going to protect the elect, okay? So yeah, I'm going to um, see if I can pull this picture up right quick before I close out, see if I can get it. Yeah, this happened last year in India. You're going to see a lot more of this, okay? The earth opening up, okay? People being swallowed up, okay? People being judged, um, you know, with the earth swallowing them up. All different type of things, okay? This year to turn up, okay? We're going to go ahead and let this video play. Now, see, they're in the background laughing, but this is not going to be funny, okay? These same people that's laughing now, they're going to be crying later, okay? So, yeah, I just wanted to get this out to the family. Stay prayed up. i see you again real soon. Hey, keep your eye on what's going on with these sunspots. They're talking about it, hey, that we will have blackouts from these, okay? Shalom.